Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Oh My God, Your Head's Gone, and I'm back again with another High Life video, guys. If you have been playing the High Life update, you know it is awesome. I absolutely love this supercar. It is so beast. And what we're going to be doing in this video is looking at the brand new sports car, the Dubachi Massacro. If you guys want to check out my customization guide for this car that I'm in right now, the Pegasi Zinterno, or if you want to see the interior of the new apartments, check out my last two videos. I will have them on the screen right now. So right here, we have the Dubachi Massacro, which is $275,000 online and can be purchased from the Legendary Motorsport website. So once you guys buy that, you want to make sure that you put it in the correct garage. If you have two apartments now, it's actually going to ask you to pick which garage you want to put it in, which is pretty awesome. So this is what it looks like stock. Not, you know, too impressive uh, physically or aesthetically, but it actually has a lot of upgrade options and you can make this car look pretty amazing. Nevertheless, it still is a very nice, simple sports car and I do like the look of it sometimes simplicity is best in my opinion so let's bring this over to Los Santos customs and go through all the customization options on it and see just how great we can get this car looking all right so here we are at the Los Santos customs again I'm gonna skimp out on the armor for the time being uh, just to make sure I have enough money to buy the uh, Dinka thrust and anything else in the update but uh, let's actually look at some of the aesthetic parts of this so uh, let's go to the first bumper here we have a simple lip and a simple rear bumper it looks like they're kind of trying to give this car the ability to have that more street racing look that kind of I guess raced outlook uh, if you guys pay attention to cars usually in real life you wouldn't want to destroy a beautiful car like this by doing this stuff but it's just a video game so I like to go through all the options and I like to make my car look as crazy as I possibly can so I put on the biggest slip I can find there and uh, and next I go up to the chassis to just add a nice racing roll cage in there uh, obviously that doesn't really do anything at all in the game but in real life that would prevent prevent you uh, from getting injured or as badly injured if your car was to flip over and, and continue rolling. So uh, I also added a little tip to my exhaust there and it looks like I'm adding a intake on the side of my car there. I just add it there. Uh, you know get some more air into that engine even though I'm sure it doesn't affect performance uh, that's actually something I'm kind of curious about but I really do not think that intakes do affect performance at all in GTA 5 again we have the musical horns uh, which is a nice little touch that they added uh, just adding some basic xenon lights right here and then I respray it so it's a gunmetal blue again this is a secret rare color if you guys want to figure out how to do that I will link an annotation on the screen to that uh, you guys can check out that video and learn how to add this kind of color on your very own car as well so let's move on to the next thing we have here I believe we have some skirts so again this is just adding to the body kit effect uh, just making it kind of have that more street racing look to it and next up we're gonna put on a new spoiler so look at the size of this GT wing I swear that I do not remember this thing being this big. I don't know if it's glitched for this vehicle, but I had to put it on just because it looks so ridiculous, guys. Uh, honestly, I know it's really ugly, but I, I, I couldn't stop laughing when I saw how big that thing was, so I put it on anyways. And then, uh, obviously, I add a turbo. I've been adding all the engine upgrades if you've been paying attention. And then, uh, of course, bulletproof tires. You need those in GTA 5 Online, like I said. And then I thought some blue tire smoke would go really nice with this gun metal blue. And then finally, last but not least we have some window tint just to finish off the overall look and feel to the car so I think this car actually looks pretty amazing once it's fully upgraded uh, it's obviously up to a personal opinion I'm sure some people think that this car looks so ugly right now uh, you know I honestly think the spoiler looks pretty ridiculous but let's take it for a spin I will let you guys hear the sound of the engine now So there we have it, that is the Dubaji Massacre. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Uh, don't get angry at me if I'm completely butchering the name, because I probably am. But anyways, so uh, I do like this car. It's a fast sports car. It will definitely contend uh, with the top sports car in its class. So you guys should definitely pick one up if you have the money for it. Uh, and then here I go to enjoy a nice little sunset at the end of the day in my brand new beast car. But anyways, guys, that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, do not forget to leave a like on it. That would be awesome. Also subscribe today to become a part of the headless army if you have not done so already and uh comment something down below let me know what you think about this actual car but anyways guys i hope you guys have a great day i'm out
Peace out.